Oh my gosh, this is incredible. I'm cool. Hey, you kids, let's get down. Get funky. How do you do, fellow kids? Love listening to you on my way into work. And, uh... All right, we get the point. We're more worried about breakfast right now, okay? Oh, the fans are delirious. Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. Channel 90. Get it all over yourself, boys and girls. Here you go. Now, the morning drive with Mike Bagley and Pete Pistone. <laughs> Sirius XM, NASCAR Radio, Channel 90, live and on the air for this Friday morning, February 10th, 2023. Mike Bagley here in Del Marvelous, Studio 1D. We've got Pistol Pete Pistoni in the Faison Palace in Chicago. We've got Davey and Donnie with us as well. Coming up, we've got uh, a lot and including... <laughs> we got a lot? What do you mean? Yeah, well, we've got a lot co- coming up here. There's a lot going on right now as we bring in our brother from another mother, Triple P. Postal Pete Pistone and the Faison Fellows. Top of the morning to you, Faison. Well, good morning, Bagman. Good morning, everybody. I can already tell it's Friday here on oh, TMD. Yeah. It is uh, the last Friday before we go all the way to November, pretty much Thank every God. weekend with racing and the NASCAR world. So here we go, off and running from a very warm See, don't and... start like that. Don't start like that all the way to November. What did I say wrong? Opportunity. Okay. It, it, All it's right. a year of opportunity. Hey, we're going to Daytona. We're starting another racing season. Come on. Think positively. I Because I, I know what that means when you say all the way to November. My point being is this is the only Friday we're going to have outside of one more all the way to November where we're not going to be talking about a race this weekend. How about that? That all was telling. It's a long <laughs> way from here to November, ladies and gentlemen. I can promise you that. Uh, but anyway, so this is the last Friday before, uh, well, the one the other Friday... It's going to be what? Father's Day weekend, right? That's when the off weekend yes. is? Yeah, okay. I mm-hmm. wonder what uh, I'll get for Father's Day this year now that I'm thinking about that. You got time. Again, don't push it. Don't rush. Here, you get on people for putting their decorations up two weeks early. You're worried about what you're getting in June. <laughs> yeah. I think you said the key phrase there, getting in. What am, what's in it for me? I don't know. Get, I don't, it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. See, one of the things we were talking about before the show would be a good Father's Day gift, but I'm not waiting until June for that. No, right? you can't wait. No, you can't no. wait till June no. for that. Come on. No, no. We were talking no, about air. Be able to wait till the end of the day. <laughs> we were talking about air. Wait till air... the end of the show. Air fryers. We were talking about before we got in the air, and I got a little uh, div- a little advice from the boys here. So I think I'm going to maybe jump into that that space in terms of cooking. You had to check up there, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I did. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, you did. Anyway, uh, lots of rain here. Uh, if we would have gotten snow instead of rain yesterday, we were told we would have gotten a foot of snow, so we'll take the rain. Thank you. Uh, and we're going into the 50s here for the next few days. So it's supposed to be a pretty nice weekend around these parts. And there they are, checking in, the weather department. That is a uh, 6 ABC weather department. Top of the morning to you, Karen. Uh, she says that uh, actually we're going to 65 degrees here today. What? That's what why Sammy's golfing. Going on? Sammy Whoa! said he was going to go golf. Sammy's off today. Yeah. He said he's going to go golfing. It was absolutely. Wow. It's crazy. I'll take it because I don't have to shovel 45 degrees. Give well, me that snow, all day, anyway. every day. <laughs> By the way, anyway. I've done a little sneak peek uh, into the weather forecast for Daytona. And I'm, I'm not going to need my Nanook of the North gear like I have in the past. It's actually right now, um, obviously, this will be adjusted going forward. But right now, sunny 73 for the Daytona 500 a week from Sunday. Nice. I'll take it. It Keep beats it that sunny way. in 35. Keep it that way. One of my favorite memories of the trips we've had to Daytona together. I don't know why this stands out because you were the one that got the brunt of it. We went out to try to buy some hunting socks for the bag man to keep his feet oh, warm. God. Because the forecast that was it for, it was for the truck race, wasn't it? For that Friday night, it was going to be really cold. And, you know, our guy stands out there for hours upon hours there on his platform. And we went and we bought electric, right, battery-powered socks for you. But they didn't work. Is that I don't remember the, the end of the story. Biggest waste of money in my history of purchasing. <laughs> we had to go. I had gone down there, and there was an unexpected. I mean, I had... I, I had clothes, but I did not have enough for the conditions that were about to let loose. Mm-hmm. So we hopped in the car and went over to Dillard's over there at the mall. Right. And I'm like, I got to get. Well, and then that was that was when I was a walking furnace. There used to be a time where, I mean, I would I would like get up and sweat like I would. I was in a constant state of perspiration. <laughs> like well, I was hot. it could have been 35 degrees in the booth and I'm sweating right now. Yeah, well, oh, there was more. There was fine. more of you then. Let's be honest. There was more of you then, and yeah. that's so. Well, that's why you. There was a lot more of you then. And I think that was part of the uh, heat. Turn off that thermostat. We. What's going on out here? That, 
the only thing they had now, granted, I'm trying to buy winter clothes in Florida yeah. where they don't, they, they have that stuff, but they don't have as much as they would up here. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I could get was that ugly brown turtleneck and battery powered socks that operated off of D batteries. Right. First of all, it felt like I had like calf weights all race long. And then, you know, my legs were worn out because it's like, I've got these batteries hanging off both my legs that didn't work. And I'm like, well, and this is a mess. Is so it, I yeah, haven't held a D battery in like D years. battery. D. I, my mom had something that needed a D battery, and that's the last time I think I bought a D battery. I, I'm with you. Everything was it AAA <laughs> was not socks. I don't think Patsy had any honey socks over there. What are you doing? Hunting socks at this hour? Anyway, um, I think I went up there with you that night for 10 laps, and I said, you know what? I'll see you yeah. in the media center. That's it. See, everybody's like, hey, can I go out to the turn? Can yes. I go out to the turn? Oh, y'all only want to come out when it's sunny and 80. You're damn right. Or you don't want to come out when it's cloudy and 40. No. And windy. Yes. And then it's like you get up there, you watch the start, and then the next thing you know, I'm getting a tap on my shoulder. Hey, I'm going to head on back. <laughs> yeah, okay, you know what? Go ahead and head on back. Enjoy that. Get hey, on in there and get some. I'm not calling the race. You are. Keep going at it, son. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Yeah, Keep that was cold. Gonna... That was cold. That was the coldest I could remember. And so, although there have been times when I've been down there at Volusia at night, one night or New Smyrna, where it's been a little chilly, but it doesn't sound like it's going to be that way next week. So that's good for everyone that's down there. That's great. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, World uh, World Series of Asphalt Stock Car Racing begins tonight at New yep. Smyrna. Yep. And they've got a program every single night up through the night before the 500 and the wheel and modified tour has mm -hmm. their season opener tomorrow night. You can watch it on Flow Racing if you're not in the Daytona Beach metropolitan area. As amazing. Were. Mike, that is amazing to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. sorry. I don't want to start I, I, I don't want to go back to what I said yesterday, but I can remember when I was a kid waiting for that newspaper to show up to see what was going on down there, and I can watch it live from New Smyrna. That's pretty cool. Very cool. And listen, I, I tapped into Flow Racing a night or two ago. I want to tell you something. It's unbelievable. They've got a lot more than racing. They've got sports. I mean, they there do. are football games on there, basketball games and all this. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, Flow Racing gets a workout. And if you've not tried it, check it out. And New Smyrna is just one of them. They've got, they've got race. I mean, there was one night last summer. I think they had 25 races on from I'm all sure. around the country. Yep. Like, in, in some form or fashion. Some were practicing, some were qualifying, some were racing. But mm -hmm. they had 25 different streams you could choose from. If you want to watch sprint cars in Arizona, you want to watch Modifieds in South Carolina, you want to watch, you know, Monster This or whatever like that in Oregon. I mean, it was all going on at the same. It was an embarrassment of viewing riches is what it was. Yeah, and they just signed a deal this past week to carry the Cars Tour, the late model series yep. down there that Dale Jr. and Kevin Harvick and Jeff Burton and Justin Marks are involved in. So mm -hmm. that's good. So we're, uh, we're off and running. So, yeah, right, that's a really good point. We don't have, uh, you know, NASCAR racing per se with truck cup or uh, xfinity but we got a lot of racing going on this weekend so you can kind of dip your toe in the water we've got a busy weekend uh we've got the super bowl party on sunday tomorrow night we're going to see i think i might have mentioned this guy before his name is ron hawking he is the guy who's been around in the chicago area for a while he does like classic sinatra singing you know that kind of a thing sammy davis jr he's like you know, the old school two-hour concert or so he puts on and it turns mm -hmm. out he's been doing this forever it turns out He's a neighbor now of Gina and Matt, my sister and her brother-in-law. Really? Like, they went on vacation together. So he's performing here somewhere, not that far from here. So we're going to do a little dinner tomorrow and then go see Ron perform. Really now, neat. Well, it's a place called Neoteca. It's in Barrington, and it's like a little Italian place. It's got uh, like a wine bar, flatbread kind of a place. They do charcuterie boards. So that's the pre-game. Pre Five o'clock, though. This is the thing. The Ron's performance starts at 7.30, right? And they want to be there by 7 because it's open seating. Okay, I'm, I'm on board with that. 5 o'clock dinner on Saturday? I don't know, that seems a little early to me. What are you going to do? You can't do both if you don't do it that way, I guess. Oh, but that's when you stop and hit the McDonald's drive through on the way home. Well, the way home is going to be a problem. I agree with you. You're, my, you're right about you're, that. Because you're going to need to put something in the tank before you go home, but then you put something in the tank that late, then you go to bed right on top of it. Not good. Right. And then I got later. 700 pounds of pizza it's waiting for me for the cycle. Super Bowl party. It's a rough weekend, cycle. boys. It's a, it's a rough weekend. But we're you're looking forward to, to that. that. Good. You're going to have to hit that exercise machine. Remember that exercise machine from the 70s that you put this belt around your waist and it shook you? My grandparents had one like that. And I'm like, seriously, that's how the weight's going to come off? You're going to sh <laughs> shake it off of you? Okay. All right. Okay. I don't know how they sold that idea to the patent office uh -uh. and to the people that bought those machines. You're going to have to do something like that. You have to go do a little walking next week to get all the uh, yeah. extra off.
of mm-hmm. you. Just walk with a shake weight. Shake weight? No, I used to have one or of those. D, or D batteries around your cats. <laughs> Either or. It was like this rubber band, and I used to put it on the doorknob of the of the of, the, of a door. Obviously, that's where you'll find a doorknob, and you pull back and <laughs> forth on it. And I remember I pulled so hard it was like a Three Stooges episode. The doorknob came off and like hit me in the head. Bang! Why you? So yeah, it, exercise equipment has you know improved since then. So yes. But anyway, we look forward to that. And, and 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 Ron, you can actually now that I think about it, uh, my guy Ron Hawking. They play some of his music on Seriously Sinatra, our channel here on Sirius XM. So that'll be fun. Look forward to that. It's a Valentine's maybe special. Maybe he's on his P's and Q's, and maybe he'll come back with something here at the uh, quarter break. Well, he's, he's working feverishly <clears throat> there, and we'll see if that happens. And it's a, it's a Valentine's Day, a Valentine's night special. So I don't know, does this count for Shelly? Is this her Valentine's present? I'm taking her for dinner and a, and a show with a bunch of other people, or do I no. have to do something else on Tuesday? You have to do something else on Tuesday. All right. Damn Look it. at you, trying trying to slide slide that well, in. Well, I wasn't trying way, to slide you, it in. Do you have you your yourself buttoned up here because it's yeah. going to get away from you? No, no, I'm good. But I thought you know, would, would tomorrow be like just this is it, Banya? This is the Valentine's Day. Nope, spectacular. Mm-mm. No, no. And I'm sure there's a lot of ladies that are agreeing with me right now. Don't, uh, don't be. You know what that is? You do you know what the equivalent of that? What you're trying to do is. That's the equivalent of my birthday being on December 29th, and you're going to slide the gift in on the 25th. Well, okay, now, that's BS. No, no, no. Oh, no. Okay, all right. Well, all right. But here's the thing. <laughs> Valentine's night being on a Tuesday is a little tough for people because it's a there's work the next day. Well, you got to get up and go to work the next day. You can't be out all night eating and gallivanting. That's what I'm saying. Don't start that dinner at 8 o'clock because i got to go to work or school the next day. <laughs> These dinners start too late. I don't know. Uh, anyway, all right, well, then I got to figure out something for. I ha- I have something, you know, in terms of bestowing a gift upon my lovely wife. I didn't know what mm-hmm. to do for the dinner plan on tu- on Tuesday. I don't know. I tell you what. Why don't you? Do, it, it obviously needs to be something romantic. But why don't you do something different? Don't go to the usual Italian joint. Go like see to me what you described that you were going to do before the um, concert thing with yeah. Um, yeah yeah my man yeah. Um, that would have been a cool little thing to do and then like go to a movie after, right? You mm-hmm. go do a little charcuterie board, a little cocktails. Yeah. And then or or why don't you reinstitute something that we talked about years ago that you guys did? Why don't you go app hopping? And and what what oh, we mean we by love that it. is Oh, we love it. Love that. I, that's something that I love to do. You pick out three or four different places. Mm-hmm. You start at the first, you have an app and a drink. Pay the bill, get in the car, you go to the next spot, have an app and a drink. Get in the car. And then you have another app and another drink, and then you Uber to the next one. That's, I was just going to say that. Drink. It's true. We did it. We got an Uber yeah. guy. The first one, we were okay. Second one, uh, then it's Uber to the third, Uber to the fourth, Uber home. Absolutely Or right. just leave the car at home and Uber everywhere you go. You may have two or three. I mean, you have to do four places, but maybe maybe well, a, a one or two spots where all you do is just have apps and drinks. Yeah. Make that a special night like that. I wouldn't wouldn't leave the car though. That'd be my luck. Get up the next morning. What the hell happened to the car? No, I'm oh, saying right. leave it in your house. Uber oh. to place one. Then oh, two, then you three. left it at Moretti's, you dumbass. What is <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. That was our last stop. Hey, where's the car, Shelly? <laughs> Dude, where's my car? Where's my car? So anyway, we got that. What are you doing this weekend? What's your uh, what's your plan? I'm all jammed up. What are you gonna do? Well, I was originally going out of town this weekend. I was gonna go have a you know, a final you know, weekend of R and R before the season started, and then before we about, go all the way to November, right? You got to get that done yeah. this weekend, as Petey says. You go for all, all the way to November. November. So where are we going to um, go? Might I ask? I was I was going to go to Atlanta. Oh, and I had I, I canceled it because all of a sudden I looked down and I'm like, all right, I've got this, I 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 got that, I got this, that. Uh, it, you know what? This ain't going to work. I need to be home this weekend. So <laughs> I canceled the flight. This this is so far what has to be done by uh, by Monday night. Because mm-hmm. Tuesday, when I get off the air with TMDJ Tuesday, I'm wheels up at 145. Yeah, you're so out. I'm leaving here and doing the old 23 skidoo right to the airport. Mm-hmm. I land in Orlando at like 5 of 4, I believe, on and then by the oh. time we get to Daytona, it's going to be six. Yeah, there's no traffic uh, at five, five to four around oh, Orlando. Oh no, not on four seventeen. Yeah, between day, uh, Orlando and Daytona, it, it's never jacked up that time of day. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's where it's like, all right, you know what? Let's take five twenty eight to ninety five, and then just go ninety five north and just deal with that. But either way, you're going to encounter some congestion. So let's hope that um, those roadways take their. And histamines accordingly and clear themselves out. Yeah. Um, 
But so no, I've I've got to button that up, and I'm just like when I get off the air today. I mean, I'm going to be hammered down all the way to Monday. I don't want to get up Tuesday morning and have to do a to do list before I go on the air and fly. So it's just easy to stay here, handle everything, and just you know be responsible. All right, oh, <laughs> I got a lot going on. Listen, I got I've got my schedule for next week. Oh man. <laughs> You know what? I'll be getting two extra large cups of coffee going into these shows next week. Well, you, it's, it's, it's a lot it's, on the plate. It's the week. I will be on every Sirius XM channel up and down the dial next week is what I've been told, which is good. I, I love talking to other people who don't cover the sport this time of the year at some of our other sports channels. Maybe I'll be on Sirius Lee Sinatra. I'm, maybe they'll have me on there. We'll talk Daytona 500 and... Well, Ron Hawking, that'd be great. But anyway, I'll be doing a lot of that, uh, a lot of local stuff here. Um, there is interest in the Daytona 500 from some of the Chicago media because we have the street circuit race here in July, and i got to be honest, I don't think without the street circuit race in July, some of the people that have reached out to me for next week, week Mike, uh, would be reaching out to me. So I think that's a good thing, too. So we're going to be busy, and I look forward to it leading into the first race of the year. And then, of course, it all leads up to Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We're going to tackle this later in the show, but um, I wonder, you know, have, do you, does everybody have those menus buttoned up? And does everybody have every, because you know, with us, it always comes back to food. So, you know, the house could be ablaze and burning to the ground. Well, wait a minute. What are we doing with that? What's in the oven? Go and grab that as we're on our way out the door. <laughs> so you got to eat something by waiting for the authorities. <laughs> Come on. I mean, we're, we're, I know it's a nine alarm blaze, but we still need something to eat. We're hungry. Let's go. We'll get to that and figure out uh, what we're doing here for the big game this weekend, which obviously Sirius XM Sports has you covered soup to nuts. We'll get into more of that as well as we continue through this Friday morning. Coming up on this show, bottom of the hour, headline check number one. Also coming up at 8.50, we'll give you the drum of the calendar. Coming up at nine, we're going to talk a little NASCAR Xfinity Series racing with uh, Kaz Grala. Going to be driving for Sam Hunt this year. And we have a week that was back. We're going to fire those back up. And if you've been a longtime listener, you know we've not done that in a while. COVID really took a toll on a lot of things, including that segment. So that's back now. So we'll look forward to that coming up this morning. And we're with you until 11 a.m. Eastern time. We'll take your telephone calls at 866-BIT-LANE and also your tweets at SiriusXM NASCAR. Hashtag TMD NASCAR.